But it's still mushroom. Oh, what is for crying out loud? My voice squeaked and you jumped on me. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Medicinal mushrooms can be an extremely fascinating but equally complicated topic. And if you find yourself confused by the barrage of disparate information available on the internet, fear not, because there's some really great authors that have written some really great books, and I'm gonna break them all down for you in this video. By the way, I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of really great books in this video, but if you want a comprehensive guide on medicinal mushrooms 100% for free, the Fresh Cap team just launched a giant ebook, which you can get right now by clicking the link in the description entering your email and I'll send it to you right away. So again, a lot of people worked really hard on this book. It's 100% for free and I think you're gonna love it. So the first book I wanna to talk to you about today is Medicinal Mushrooms, A Clinical Guide by Martin Powell. This is a fully comprehensive guide to some of the most well-researched and well-documented mushrooms in the world. First of all, I wanna tell you a little bit about Martin Powell, who is the author of this book. Martin is a genius when it comes to mushrooms and when it comes to explaining how those mushrooms might be able to be used to benefit human health. His background is in biochemistry, but he's also studied traditional Chinese medicine, and it's the combination of these two practices that give Martin such a thorough understanding of how mushrooms actually work. Martin is also just genuinely a super good guy who really does care about helping people with mushrooms. This book in particular is intended for a clinical audience, so for example natural healthcare practitioners that might want to prescribe mushrooms to their patients, but even for the non-clinical audience it's still a great book to have as a reference on your shelf. It starts by talking about the mechanisms of action of mushrooms in the body in general, and then goes through each of the 17 most commonly known mushrooms on a mushroom by mushroom basis, talking about the different benefits and some of the different studies behind these mushrooms. One thing I really love about Martin's book is that he directly references a lot of the research studies and then interprets them so you can have a lot of actionable information. This book isn't a novel, right? It's not something you'd wanna read through cover to cover, but it is a really good reference that you'd wanna have on the shelf. I should also note too that a lot of the research studies and a lot of the references used in this book are also located at his website, which is mycologypress.com, which you can definitely go and check out. So next up is a book called The Mushroom Medicine Cabinet by Chris Rawson, and this is a book I just came across. It was actually sent to me by the author, but it's a nice little pocket book that's got tons of information on medicinal mushrooms. Specifically, it covers 12 different types of commonly known medicinal mushrooms. What I really like about this book is how well it's laid out. It makes all the information super digestible so you can learn about the high level characteristics of some of the most important mushrooms without getting too bogged down. For each of the mushroom species, it covers what the mushroom looks like, if it has lookalikes, and where it can be found. And it's not really comprehensive enough to just take this book and go out in the woods and start looking for mushrooms, but it does give you a good idea of where to start. And of course, it covers what the benefits of the different mushrooms are, what conditions those mushrooms might be able to help, and it also goes a little bit into the history and some of the research behind each of these individual mushrooms. This book is available on Amazon and I do recommend picking it up. The next book is Healing Mushrooms by Taro Isocapula. And similar to the Mushroom Medicine Cabinet, this book is a nice high level overview of some of the most popular mushrooms, what benefits they have, and even how to use them. Taro is from Finland and has a deep knowledge of these mushrooms from his upbringing. He also is the founder of a company called Four Sigmatic, which is well known for their mushroom coffee and other mushroom based drinks. This book goes over the different mushrooms, but also goes over the different compounds that are inside of those mushrooms and explains how those compounds need to be extracted in different ways in order to make them more bioavailable. This book also includes a ton of different recipes so you can get fancy in all the ways you incorporate medicinal mushrooms into your daily routine. On a side note, Taro has also written a book called Santa Sold Shrooms, which is a children's book that talks about the connection between Santa Claus and the Amanita muscaria mushroom. Next up is a book called The Fungal Pharmacy by Robert Rogers. Now, Robert Rogers is actually from Alberta, where I'm from, so he gets extra points for that one, but he's also super knowledgeable about medicinal plants and of course medicinal mushrooms. What's different about this book is just how much material is in it and how many mushrooms are covered. 
bird. It covers over 300 species, which is just crazy. It also covers a lot of species that might not be commercially available. It covers species that grow wild all over North America, specifically in the Pacific Northwest. But for each species, it covers the medicinal uses, how these mushrooms were traditionally used and prepared, and also a lot of the in-depth research behind each individual species. This book is thick and comprehensive, and again, it's not something that you'd want to read necessarily cover to cover. It's more so just a great reference that you can keep on the shelf and keep going back to every time you want to learn about a new species. But still, it deserves a spot on any Mycophiles bookshelf. There's some bonus books by Robert Rogers. One of them is Medicinal Mushrooms, The Human Clinical Trials, which is really good. He goes in depth into each of the medicinal mushrooms and specifically highlights some of the most promising results from the trials. Luckily for medicinal mushrooms, a lot of research has been done. This book covers 50 different species and goes over 500 different studies. A lot of these studies are double blind placebo controlled studies, which is kind of the gold standard in mushrooms. And when you think about it, a lot of studies have been done in vitro or on a petri dish. So going over the human clinical trial and the double-blind placebo-controlled trials have some of the most important results, which is what I really appreciate about this book. Robert Rogers also just wrote a book called Psilocybin Mushrooms, The Magic, Science, and the Research, which covers the increasingly important topic of psilocybin mushrooms and how they might be able to be used for mental health, for anxiety, for depression, for PTSD, and so much more. The book covers over 100 up-to-date human clinical trials and also explores the topics of set and setting, of microdosing, and the importance of music for psilocybin therapy. Next up is Fly Agaric by Kevin Feeney. Now, you may or may not consider Amanita muscaria or the Fly Agaric to be a medicinal mushroom, but if you do, or if you're just interested in learning more about the topic, then this book by Kevin Feeney is a must-have. It covers everything from identification of old sorts of different species of Amanita, talks about a lot of the compounds and the concentration of those compounds inside of those mushrooms, and also the effect that those compounds might have on our minds. It also, of course, covers a lot of the amazing and interesting history of this mushroom and its cultural importance. I think there's so much to learn about mushrooms in general, but about the fly agaric in particular. So if you're interested in this topic, I can't think of a better place to start than this book. Finally, we have a bonus. Now, this isn't necessarily a book and it's not necessarily about about medicinal mushrooms, but it's just so cool that I had to share it with you. This is a quarterly premium magazine called The Mushroom, and it's produced by Martin Powell, who's an author we talked about earlier in the video. The Mushroom is a beautifully designed magazine that covers all sorts of different topics, and it's just a really nice piece to have on your coffee table. There are only two issues so far, but they cover topics all the way from producing music using pink oysters as a synthesizer, to traveling adventures throughout the mushroom world. You can check this out at themushroom.pub. These are some great books and I do recommend them all. But again, if you wanna get an enormous guide to medicinal mushrooms 100% for free, the Fresh Cap team just launched a brand new ebook. This covers the top medicinal mushrooms super in depth, way more in depth than I could ever go into in a video. We also have extraction methods, kind of a beginner's guide to how to use them. We also have lots of cool recipes recipes in there so you can incorporate these medicinal mushrooms in your life. Again, this is 100% free and in order to get it, all you gotta do is click the link in the description and you can enter your email and I will send you the book right away. So I really hope you enjoy it. I think you're gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.